Hi, I'm Amelia Tamayo. Today is International Monkey Day. While this holiday is mainly about monkeys, it also celebrates other non-human primates, such as apes, tarsiers, and lemurs. In other news... After the death of longtime Massachusetts Education Commissioner Mitchell Chester, a new commissioner has stepped into office. His name is Jeff Riley, and we had the privilege of interviewing him in our very own high school regarding achievement gaps in public schools and his goals on implementing the next generation MCAS. I guess what I would say is, um, first and foremost, how important it is to be bilingual or trilingual or more in the world we live in today, and so we need to celebrate learning multiple languages. Uh, with that said, we know the research tells us that it takes between four and seven years to be proficient in a second language. And yet we test children after only one year in the country. And so that can create the impression that students aren't doing as well as perhaps they are, but it would be the equivalent of dropping me off in mainland China and giving me the uh, Mandarin MCAS after one year. I'm probably not going to do as well as if, I, if you gave me four or five years in the country to learn the language. So we have to kind of look through it through that lens. Um, with that said, what my, part of my job is to find ways to accelerate second language learning. And you look at like a program like in Lasse at Lawrence High School, which has been featured nationally uh, by some amazing educators that are up there. They're doing work to um, figure out how to get high school kids who are new to the country to learn English faster. Part of what I said when I came to this job about five months ago is we need to take some time to, to assess the new accountability system, right? Uh, I came in kind of at the tail end. It had already been approved at the board. And I asked that we take a year or two to look at um, this system and see, is it actually meeting the needs of our children or not? Uh, and so, for instance, already we've seen some students who have been um, uh, coded the wrong way because they might have been medically excused absent and the, and the schools have been um, kind of put in a category of designation of not meeting participation rates and if a child's in the hospital they shouldn't be punished for not meeting participation rates. so they're, they're we're going to take the time to look at it this year I told uh, the state that we would not name any level four schools or level five districts those are the schools that supposedly get in trouble uh, because I think it's important anytime you start something new to really uh, work the kinks out and see if there's any bugs or unintended consequences and then go forward after you tweak it. We also sat down with current ELL students who had taken the MCAS before the next generation test was implemented to understand the concerns that needed to be addressed. A gran desventaja porque por ejemplo no no tener mucho conocimiento en el idioma y por ejemplo yo cuando recién llegué tomé el MCAS y lo he tomado cuatro veces y no lo puedo pasar todavía. Por para mí está bien todo como lo están haciendo, pero sale difícil por la cuestión del inglés. En El Salvador era diferente, donde, porque sí tomas un examen, pero no lo tomas en tu idioma, es mucho mejor, entiendes más. Wow, our schools are in good hands. Thanks for watching and stay in school. I'm Amelia Tamayo and this was In Other News. Bye!